Yeah, an yeah. interesting choice. And chooses potentially, is he not going to play anything else? Oh, wow. He even keeps the Sludge Belcher in hand. That's that's a bold decision, knowing that there's two Cold Light Oracles in your opponent's hand and having a minion with Death Rattle that's almost guaranteed to stick. Well, <clears throat> he could play one more Oracle and force an overdraw, but then he can't fit that many cards in his hand, so... Yeah, just gonna go for the Ice Block instead. And, uh, all right. I mean, at least... Oh, I like this play, actually, because Kalento's hand is full, so... How does he get rid of some of those cards uh, without just completely throwing them away to the Doomsayer? You'd also be really concerned of what that secret is. We know that that secret's Ice Block, but if it's Duplicate, then if you're only going to kill the Doomsayer, you're setting yourself up to Doomsayer more. Mm -hmm. So you actually need to do probably kill the Oracle first, which makes your job even harder this turn. Yeah, the mind games are pretty real. So he is going to go for the for the clear here. No, he knows it's not a duplicate. The Doomsayer was pretty important, though. I mean, if he had frozen the board, uh, it wasn't possible. Well, maybe with the knife juggler, he could have killed it somehow, but he didn't have. Hmm. I guess he has dealt with a lot of the large creatures, so the flame strikes and whatnot should be able to deal with most of the medium sized creatures this game. Yeah. And Colento's going to get rid of a lot of his hand, uh, putting him down to seven cards. Still can get uh, fatigued, but uh, Chaggy has more pressing issues in clearing the board here. No Frost Nova, no Frost Nova whatsoever strategy. If it does go to Fatigue, it's still pushing it closer to that. But uh, yeah, definitely not ideal. Yeah, there was three Death Lords, I believe, played so far because he duplicated. And that means that he'll be three cards ahead of Kalento, roughly. But the Fatigue could end up killing Chaki before Kalento, since Kalento's at full HP. Yeah, that's an excellent point as well. Sludge Belcher now, being drawn by Chucky. Finally seeing some minions he can actually use. has more time to figure out how to survive later. Yeah, is there a Frostbolt in Chucky's hand right now? Yes, there is. There is. Right? So maybe Frostbolt plus uh, Flame Strike is looking pretty decent here. Frostbolt, uh, well, what's his face? Uh, Shredder? Yeah. That looks like a good play to me, especially because uh, Kalento has used the Consecrate, so you could expect probably his only damage is a tree silver, and at 8 HP with an ooze on the board, he wouldn't be able to die to anything. Yeah, I mean, uh, not if he wasn't able to to uh, to put. Oh wow, actually, flame strikes before the cross bolt. <laughs> this could bite him bite him back if uh, if it had been Milhas Manastrom coming out of there, and it is mm -hmm. actually Lord Walker Cho, and that's not not what Chaki wanted to see probably. No, not at all. Um, I mean, giving a flame strike away would have been okay, but giving away something like a frost bolt would be really terrible. Yeah. I'm almost out of cards. Almost out of cards. Almost out of cards. That lay on hands is going to be pretty. Jockey up to win this game. Yeah, I mean, Frost Nova's not going to do much for uh, for Kalento if Jackie chooses to give him that, though. And, you know, it makes him take, take fatigue damage. I would like the Frost Nova used now. It, it 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 will force Kalento to potentially play more 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 uh, threats onto the board, and then you still have the flame strike. And yeah, I agree. Although flame strike is so good here, um, if he plays that, then the quartermaster actually has potential to win. Hmm. Indeed. Yeah, he has to be pretty careful with the flame strike. So we'll we'll see. Well, he's going for it though. All right. He does get to get rid of the Lorewalker Cho, which I think is pretty important. That was like the thing that stopped him. <laughs> we see the mage with the monster for battle. <laughs> that is something. Jaina stepping up, man. I'm grabbing the grabbing the weapons, going at it. Yeah, it's Alex looking Reza. pretty good for Chaki. Is it? <laughs> I think so, man. It, I'm 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 looking at a big win right now. But uh, like you said, the Tris Silver champion can be pretty dangerous here too. 
Hmm. There's the heal bot. I think Lento's gonna pop the block now. So Chaki only has two turns, um, and then he'll die to fatigue. He has no way to heal. Hmm. Oh, oh he has another heal, heal bot. bot. Wow. That's big. <sighs> I, this is a time when I wish I had a deck tracker for these guys so we could know what Chaki's last card is. <laughs> I can't. It could be an explosive sheep or something. No, I think he played two. That last card is really important right now. If it's any type of area of effect damage. Or like... Uh, Soft blue blizzards. Um, if it was fireball, maybe? Because then the face damage. I mean, fireball would be insane, right? I, I think he has to be expecting second true silver, too, if he's been counting... Uh, if he's been paying a lot of attention, then he probably wants to freeze the, the, the true silver rather than freezing the the one attack weapon for now. The increments of damage are so close here. It could be that the muster for battle weapon actually makes a pretty significant difference in the outcome of this. Yeah. Even something as simple as hero powering here rather than uh, using the frostbolt to make sure you're maximizing your hero power. There's a lot of math that you need to do in Chucky's shoes. Okay, so Kalento took three. Next turn, he takes four. Um, he might be dead. Uh, he could flame strike, I guess. He does heal up. Yeah. Does he have a Kesang Mystic? <laughs> All right. Well, it wasn't a fireball. Echo and Mediv. That's not gonna do much for him. Actually, the Death Lord. Uh, I'm not sure if that's gonna have a lot of a big effect here. Oh, he can't use the uh, True Silver now because he's frozen. Yeah. So it looks like Chucky should win here. The fatigue will kill Kalento and he can't heal. It's exactly five fatigue damage. Wow. Wow. Oh, All right. That, that was four, but yeah. I mean, the next turn, it's, he's dead, so. That was beautiful. That was just a great game in so many ways. Even with a Lorewalker Cho and both players had such a good chance. What a game. Wow. Chat, man.